my Vina left, this is Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Entertainment News. If you missed this yesterday, go ahead and click the very first link in the description below where, you know, Gil King interviewed legend, WNBA legend Lisa Leslie, and they were basically discussing her friend, Kobe Bryant legacy and all of that, okay? So it's about this first clip is about seven minutes and a few seconds long, however, if you want to fast forward to the part that caused all of this, you know, controversy and people being highly upset, you can fast forward to 314. But I will say absolutely watch everything so that you can see how the interview started and then why it got to the point that it got to. Okay, so go ahead and watch it and then come back. Well, welcome back. So let's talk about it. All right. I just didn't want to spend too much time explaining what happened happened when you could watch it for yourself okay so now did kobe cheat on his wife yes did he embarrass his family yes and did he embarrass himself yes however was he convicted of a crime no did he commit a crime according to the law no he was never convicted the case was dismissed and that was that okay so in the midst of kobe bryant passing and basically gail you know she's a journalist i get it she's doing her job asking questions and things like that you know it's too soon and people just felt like it was insensitive for gail to ask such a question especially to lisa knowing that you know this is her close friend and lisa probably felt like you know this was a safe place well, Gil received a lot of backlash. Most of the comments on social media were filled with just profanity. So I'm not even going to try to read them, but just know that it was bad for Gil yesterday. So she hopped on Instagram live to explain her side of the story. So let's go ahead and listen to what she had to say. Then I'm going to come back and give, you know, my opinion. I've been up reading the comments about the interview I did with Lisa Leslie about Kobe Bryant. And I know that if I had only seen the clip that you saw, I'd be extremely angry with me too. I am mortified, I'm embarrassed, and I am very angry. Uh, unbeknownst to me, my network put up a clip from a very wide ranging interview. Um, totally taken out of context. And when you see it that way, it's very jarring. It's jarring to me. I didn't even know anything about it. I started getting calls. What the hell are you doing? Why did you say this? What is happening? I did not know what people are talking about. So I've been told or I've been advised to say nothing. Just let it go. People will drag you. People will troll you. It'll be over in a couple of days, but that's not good enough for me because I really want people to understand what happened here and, and how I'm feeling about it. I reached out to Lisa because I know that she's a longtime friend of Kobe's to talk about his legacy and their friendship. We had a really wide ranging interview, talked about many things, his career, his passion, his sense of humor, the way he was mentoring other people, how he was starting his next chapter. It was wide ranging. And yes, we talked about that court case because that court case has also come up. And I wanted to get Lisa's take on it as a friend who knew him well, what she thought, where that should stand. And I thought she, it was very powerful when she looked me in the eye as a member of the media to say it's time for the media to leave it alone and to back off. During the course of the interview, I asked follow-up questions because I wanted to make sure that her position and perspective were very clear. And at the end, when she said, it's time for to leave it alone, I, as I said, I thought that was powerful. And I insisted, I insisted that that part be in the interview because I thought that it put a nice button on that part of the conversation. Um, when the interview aired, we got a great reaction to it. Um, I talked to Lisa last night. I believe that Lisa was okay with the interview. And I felt really good about the interview, really good about the interview. So for the network to take the most uh, salacious part when taken out of context and put it up online 
for people who didn't see the whole interview is very upsetting to me and that's something I'm going to have to deal with with them. Uh, and we will, there will be a very uh, intense discussion about that. I also want to say this, I have um, been with Kobe Bryant on many social occasions. Uh, he was very kind and very warm to me and I felt that we had a friendly relationship. I too am mourning his loss, just like everybody else. I still am shocked by it. It's tragic and untimely, and the last thing I would want to do is disparage him at this particular time. And I, I, I hope people understand that. And that's why I'm taking this time to speak to you directly. I've never done one of these before. I didn't even, I, I've never done one of these before, but this was so important to me that I felt I had to say something. I don't want to sit up on a set and read a prepared remark. Uh, I wanted you to hear exactly where I'm coming from and how I'm feeling and to let everybody know that no disrespect intended. And now I've got to go to work. Uh, I thank you for listening. I understand what she's saying, right? Like we had a long conversation and that basically what I got from what she was trying to do is look these folks out here trying to tarnish this man's reputation and they're just doing too much so if i get his close friend someone he considered family to respond to who he was as a man as a person especially when it comes to women and if i can just get her to just explain look I was around Kobe and he's not a violent person. He's an amazing man. And I do not believe that he did anything to hurt anyone. If I can get someone close to him to admit that, maybe the media is going to see that, you know what? This man was never convicted. Let us let it go, especially coming from someone who's been around him who knows him and saying that he's not a violent person, especially towards women. So that's what Gil is saying. That's the reason why I asked the question because I wanted people to understand that yes, we all make mistakes, you know, things happen in life, but Kobe Bryant did not you know, allegedly I would say rape anyone. And actually he was a stand up guy, not only being an amazing father to his children and a great husband once, you know, all of those people, all of those situations behind him, he was also an advocate for women, especially women's sports, you know, basketball with his daughter, Gigi, wanting to go to the WNBA and all of that. But what Gail failed to understand is especially someone who's been in the media for a long time is that once people have made up their mind about you and formed their own opinion there's nothing you can do to change that trolls will be trolls okay especially asking someone who's friends with Kobe Bryant you really think that Lisa was going to sit up there and say anything negative about Kobe absolutely not so those people will still be like you know what of course lisa is not going to say that her friend was a bad person of course not stuff i understand sometimes you have interviews and you open up and the audience be like wow you know i had no clue kobe was this person and kobe did this and did that like right now you have a lot of people saying things like wow i didn't know he was doing all of these amazing things outside of basketball or since he retired wow there's so much more to kobe bryant than just the basketball player i get it but i'm just saying when it comes to that subject the people who minds are already made up there's nothing you can do to change their mind another reason why people are not believing gail in this whole you know instagram live video is because even after lisa answered the question about that situation not affecting colby legacy or complicating his legacy she's still continuing to press you know when lisa said you know basically in summary not forbid him like he wasn't convicted or something like that and then she continued yeah but the girl did not want to testify like you continuing to press her and continue to bring it up so that's the thing if you just had that one question and wanted his friend okay to discuss this amazing side of kobe then you should have asked that one question and left it alone 
And as much as I understand what Gail was trying to do, and she's a journalist and she was doing her job, you know, it's the situation is still very sensitive and people are grieving and it's basically too soon, especially, you know, when the case was dismissed, he was never found guilty. So it's like, I understand if Gail was interviewing an attorney on Kobe Bryant case and so that's a legal question i'm going to talk about the case but not his friend his friend who is broken and is sad and is just going through it but she agreed to do the interview because she felt like this is a safe space you know shaq and everybody else did interviews okay so lisa was like absolutely i'm going to do an interview just talking about my friend so for you to interview someone who's clearly devastated and then ask that question i completely understand the upright all of that you know no one is saying that gail shouldn't do her job you know as a journalist it's just that sometimes you have to find a balance between doing your job and just being someone who have compassion you know, and just knowing, listen, this is not the moment. I mean, I saw the Jimmy Campbell tribute, the Jimmy Fallon tribute. I saw all of these people tribute, and they all said, look, we are not saying Kobe Bryant was a, a perfect man, but, and then they moved on into positivity. So they said what they had to say without going there you understand what i'm saying so that was their way of saying we're not saying he's this however this is the man that we knew and i just feel like gail could have done that as well now another thing that i don't agree with is people posting pictures of gail and oprah with certain people who are no longer seen as good people because half of the rappers um now <laughs> who are upset are also in picture with the orange guy who claimed that he's running this country okay and at that time to them he was just a celebrity guy this rich white guy that's you know in Hollywood that's doing his thing he wasn't you know the person that he is today and you know all of the disgusting things that he's doing okay so it's like people then taking their picture and putting it up and saying oh well by the way here you are in pictures with this person so that means that you still support this person I don't agree with that I, I don't think I do not agree that this is the same as Gil interviewing R. Kelly absolutely not if you've been following the R. Kelly story you already know so for the people saying oh my gosh Gil and Oprah you know they're coming for a black man they're trying to tear them down first you know if she did the interview with R. Kelly and not this you cannot compare the two and you cannot make any excuses for, for r kelly and anything that has been done and compare to this okay absolutely not and you cannot be so upset to the point where you start making excuses for people who deserved everything that they got right now you can't jump on the bandwagon of anger saying things like, yeah, you know, Gil King and Oprah are trying to bring down black men. You know, she did the R. Kelly interview and they had things to say about Bill Cosby and now Kobe. Pump your bricks, okay? You can't jump on the bandwagon now and then start talking silly. You cannot compare. Kobe Bryant was not convicted those other people exactly if you want people to abide by the law and all of that then you have to hold them accountable all right another thing i want to say is for the people who keep saying why why oprah and gail not interviewing this white person that white person like the weinstein guy and this person that person people have to agree to do interviews people have to say yes definitely you can interview me I want to come on your show if you extend an interview and someone decline there's nothing you can do about it all you can do is talk about them which Gail have done extensively she's talked against everything that the Weinstein guy have done 
just because I'm not here for what she did in this moment doesn't mean I'm going to jump on a bandwagon. And At this point, you all are aware how much Kobe Bryant, you know, meant to me. I'm still devastated. You know, his passing, his daughter and the seven others on the helicopter, just sad situation, right? And so if I, who didn't know the guy personally, still feels this way, I completely understand what his wife and his friends are going through, okay? But even with that, I still have enough sense to not jump on a bandwagon to start making excuses for people who we shouldn't be making excuses for because the message fits the narrative that people are trying to prove. I completely understand you can say Oprah sat down and did an interview with the boys who lie on Michael Jackson. You can say that Oprah was about to do a documentary on on Russell Simmons and you know his accusers even though he have not been convicted of anything or get another black man you can say that you know Gail interview R. Kelly you can talk about the Bill Cosby case and all of these different things I get it but you cannot start making excuses for some of those men because they're black and it fits the narrative you're trying to put out there that Oprah and Gail are trying to bring down black people. It is not the same thing. You can be upset at this interview and upset with Gail for asking this question to a friend of Kobe Bryant and being insensitive absolutely you can be upset but then don't start making excuses for people who are guilty for the things that they did and they were found guilty in the eyes of the law do you understand what i'm saying so i'm not under no circumstances defending Gail. absolutely not i felt like yes she was doing her job but she was insensitive by asking that question oh. A lot of celebrities, you know, spoke against what Gail did, but this video is about Gail and not to drag other people in it, even though I did drag Oprah in it because that's the narrative going around. And I'm just because you are black, okay, does not mean you make excuses for bad behavior and turn your face when bad behavior is going on because we're black. We have to protect each other. No wrong is wrong now i will say i understand gil is saying that you know she's you know upset and mortified and you know she can't believe a network did this and all of that i get it regardless though gil did you ask the question yes you did okay i get it she's saying she didn't ask it in the context that you know the clip was shown and all of that but still did you choose that moment to ask that question you did and so hopefully this can be a learning experience for everyone um, i will continue to keep all of the families lifted in mind prayers um, because this is still a very sensitive subject and very devastating and to hear my friend i love thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when i do post you where they're posted and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless you